Hello, this is a very quick tutorial on using a Google drawing to do a concept map. You can see that I've opened my Google Drive and to make a new Google drawing, simply go to the new button, go down to more, across and down to Google drawings. Your drawing is created and you can see the list of tools and choices that you have in your menu here. The best way to learn more about this is to explore it on your own, but this will give you a quick overview of how to use the tools. First, let's look at some basic shapes. We'll go to the shape icon here, and you can see that there are several categories. There are some basic shapes, which include not only flowchart shapes, but programming shapes and electronic circuit shapes and other things as well. There are a series of arrows that you can use, again, for most flowchart purposes. Callouts, if you'd like to have a banner or some information that's not part of your flowchart showing in there, and also some equation tools that you can use. We'll go back to shapes and choose a simple square this time. Once that's chosen, you simply hold down the mouse button, click and drag until you get the shape that you want. That shape can take on various kinds of characteristics. For example, the fill color can be changed to a different color, or it can be changed to transparent if you'd like to have no color there at all. The line color, the outside, by default is black, but if you'd like to change that to a different color, you can do that as well. I'll click aside to show that that change has been made. You can vary the thickness of the line, you can see now that it's a heavier line than it was before. And you can even vary the kind of line that you'd like to have. If you'd like to have a dashed line of some sort going around there instead of a solid line, you can do that as well. When you have a shape selected, it can be moved to any other location simply by holding and dragging. You can obviously change the size of the shape if you'd like to. And you can even use this handle right here to rotate a shape in space. If you have a shape selected, you can also simply type to enter some text into that space there. Like any text in most Google documents, you can highlight the text and you have a bunch of tools that you can use to change the characteristics of that text. For example, I could change the um, font to Verdana. I could change the size to 24. I can go up to the text color and change that to another color. I can even choose to center it or not center it or however I'd like that to appear in my information box. So let's quickly make another shape. We'll go back up to the shape tool. This time we'll choose a rounded rectangle. We'll draw that. And we'll leave that as default as it is. And what we'll do is we'll learn to make connections between two shapes as if you're doing a flowchart or a concept map. We'll use the line tool for that. The line tool sits right here. And you see you have a choice of lines, a straight line, an arrow, elbow connectors, curve connectors, and all kinds of other ways, even a freehand scribble line if you'd like to draw something freehand over top of your chart here. I'm going to choose the regular old arrow line here. And you notice that when my arrow line is chosen, if I point to a shape, there's some little purple handles that show up around the edge of the shape. Those are connection handles. And if I make a connection between one of them to one on the other, end, the other shape, and then I'll reselect the point, the uh, arrow tool here. If I move one shape around, that connection still stays current. So it's easy to move items around in your concept map and have the connection stay where you put them in the first place. If you do make a move and you'd like to move the, the connection line itself, you can simply select it, take an endpoint, move it to another location, and that resets itself at that point, and you can continue to move these around. Again, select a point, move the endpoint, and now that connection is still being created. A couple of other things you can do real quickly. You can insert your own images if you'd like to. You can take a snapshot if you're on your iPad or your iPhone directly. If you know the URL, if you have stuff stored in your Google Drive, or you could do a search for an image out there someplace in the world. I'll go to my albums because I do have some stuff stored in here. We'll go to Yellowstone and we'll choose an image here. We like this. Bighorn Sheep, we'll select that. The image pops up like any other element in a Google drawing. It's resizable, so we can resize it. You can crop the image by choosing the crop tool here. Some crop handles appear, and you can cut out the part of the image that you prefer not to see in this case. One of the nice things about the crop tool is that if you decide you want the image back at some point, you can simply reset the image, or you can go back to the crop tool and you can recrop it. The original image is still there underneath all of that.
As you might guess, this image can be connected with lines. So we'll choose the arrow tool again. We'll make a connection from this box to here. Choose the arrow tool again. And again, once we move it, it stays connected in that orientation. You can create links, external links, to any element in a Google drawing. If we use the link tool with this selected, we can type in a link and apply that. And you can change the link later and remove it. The effect of applying that link means that when you click on this object in your Google Drawing, you can actually go and visit that link by clicking right here. Like any other Google document, this is shareable. By default, it's private. You can give it a title. And you can choose either addresses of people that you would like to share this directly with. You can let them edit, comment, or view. Or if you click the advanced tab down here, you can make this publicly viewable to anyone in the world if you'd like to. Public on the web, anyone with the link, anyone in the UA domain, and whatnot. However you'd like to share this, that's possible to do easily through a Google Drawing. So that's it for a quick tutorial. Don't forget to play around with it, see what you can do, and we'll see you another time.